so here's my test bicycle bells first is classic race bell from the 1990s it's not loud enough and the plastic here at the bottom you, uh, tends to break after many years this second this bottom section is from a different bell different exactly the same type yeah that's not loud enough but uh, the sound itself is good this is a 50 millimeters this is 45 millimeters brave classic pin much louder uh, sound continues for longer decibel VDEC fairly good fairly good I would prefer I'd like this more in quality etc but this is this rubber band is actually interesting it's useful to be able to mount it on for example the stem and then we have the Billy plus it's a bell with resonance holes and gives quite a loud oh, quite a loud sound yeah that's very good then we have the Charlie it's a bigger version of this also by Mounty I think it's a German German brand and you can hear that the resonance frequency is high lower and that's logical because the dome is bigger as it oh, wait yeah yeah mm -hmm. lower frequency is actually better for older people who don't hear the higher of tones but I, I've never had a problem with this one I like the sound of this one a little bit more then we go to the Basil Basil is a Dutch brand but it's made in China as so much these days mm, aluminium dome the rest is all steel I don't really like that it's uh, not stainless but the sound is okay yeah good long sound this is Vox, Voxom KL5 KL because of uh, Klingel in German that's uh, the bell a bell and everything seems to be stainless steel and brass and aluminium so this is really nice quality yeah I can make keeps ringing for a long time I think I like aluminium a little better but this is okay this is good this is the hood, uh, Owl Vision Hood Mini it's actually brass but made black I don't like that sound but I don't like any brass bell sounds um, I prefer steel at aluminium they give a nicer sound uh, I think I will do some mix and match replace this dome with something else or do the resonance holes uh, experiment some drill holes in here see what changes here we have the crane crane uh, mini suzu w w means this um, this mount is from aluminium instead of some crappy steel band similar to this band on the this mount on the basil that's what most of the bigger crane bells have or, or all I think on, only the smaller ones 45 millimeters have the aluminium mount I don't know why I think those those steel mounts are crap in any case the sound is good at least when it's dry strong and keeps uh, you, you hear it for a long time yeah it's it's good but when it's wet it's a lot uh, less loud and I didn't have that with the um, Billy plus from Mounty so I will do a rain test or water test with some spraying water on the bells but that's to come later um, then we have the Basil Ding Dong 60 millimeter bell it's quite big compared to some other bells but yeah it's okay it's okay the one next to it is huge 80 millimeters but let's hear it Basil it's a nice sound could be could go on a bit longer but it's okay the big one now strong sound yeah nice I like it decorations are cool then we have this one it's a 
ding ding be a bell, not ding dong, but it, because it's so twice the same sound. So when the press and the release, uh, you get the same sound. You can move this in both directions. And by the way, with these mounty bells, you can move the clapper left and right to put it in the position you want. So that's that's nice. Okay, so this one we had, then we have this one, it's quite unusual. You press this down and then you get the sound. Or you pull it up, you can reverse it of course, and you could put it there, you could then you pull or push down there. So that's ding ding as well, it's one type of sound that you hear twice. This is the classic bell from probably 1970s, probably possibly earlier on Dutch city bikes and it's a tring bell uh, seems to be also called dingeling, I don't know why trings is more is better I think it's similar to phones the same sound repeats quite quite a bit uh, why is it not going? I need to put this down. Let's see. Yeah, the other bell's in the way. That's the problem. That's quite a good sound. Then we come to the final bell. That's also a tring bell by Gazelle, uh, maker of Dutch bicycles, and this is their own bell. Um, probably ten years, ten years old or something. So this and it's been in there. They've made it for longer. So oh, wait a minute. So. so you can ring once if you do it, but otherwise, if you turn a bit more, then let's see. With one hand, it's hard. I will put the camera. Like this. Okay, that's part one, perhaps part two later, or on my website. That will be the results of the wet test.